Hello darlings, this is Chetna Spruti and I'm 34 years old and currently I'm 181 pounds. And in this video, uh, let's discuss about why does one meal a day work or in that case, why does intermittent fasting work? The basic points in the simpler terms. Let's discuss it. Let's roll into it. Before I go into the video, I'm not a medical professional. This is from experience. What experience you ask? I lost 62 pounds in eight months through intermittent fasting, different type of intermittent fasting. First, I started with the basic intermittent fasting. Within three months, I lost 15 pounds. Basic, like eating two meals, 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of eating, stuff like that. And after that, I did one meal a day for three months and lost somewhere around 35 pounds. So total came up to 50 pounds. After that, I maintained that weight for a month and in June of 2023, for a month, I did alternate day fasting and lost 10 more, actually 12 more pounds. So I came from 220 pounds, that is the highest weight, to 158 pounds in eight months. So all through fasting, not much of exercise is happening, nothing enough to break the sweat, just basic walking and some stretches. So what happened? I thought you said you were 181 pounds. How did you get to that point, you asked? Yes, uh, I had spinal stenosis. It became very severe. It came to a point where I couldn't stand or walk for more than three minutes. And it was, it was painful. With that pain, sleeplessness, and I couldn't call it clinically depression, but it, it felt like that. I couldn't come out of it, and the pain was unbearable. And all these things happened. So I couldn't do one meal a day. I couldn't do intermittent fasting. I couldn't do anything. I, I was sleeping like shit. I was eating, uh, not like shit to be frank, but I couldn't do anything. It was anyways. So the physical activity was minimum and everything. Surgery happened two and a half months ago. So what did I do? I restarted my one meal a day and I'm doing a 90 days of one meal a day challenge. So it's almost been 16 days. I post every day if you have you have seen me one of those shots and if you're interested in following me do follow I post every day I post what I eat and how's the weight coming off and all these things interesting things so it's good introduction let's get to the point what is intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is nothing but you're fasting for this amount of hours and you're eating for the rest of hours so there is 16 is to 8 where you're fasting for 16 hours and eating for 8 hours and there is 20 is to 4 where you're fasting 20 hours and eating for 4 hours and there is one meal a day you're eating your meal in less than an hour and eating only once a day one meal a day so what goes into that meal it's up to you your appetizer your main course, your desert, your snacks, everything. It's up to you. So there is no diet, there is no keto, there is no low carb, there is no high carb or anything. It's up to you. The first point is calorie intake. So what happens when we are doing intermittent fasting, let's say we are, we are doing 16 is to 8, where we are taking uh, lunch, dinner, snacks in between, so we went from breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between, midnight snacks to we went 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of eating. So maybe two meals are possible and a snacking is possible, that's it. So we have cut down from three meals, two-ish snacks to two meals and one snack. So that is one main thing where it happened. So, and if you go 20 is to four, where you can eat one big meal and only a snack or something, or a small lighter meal, that is also a great difference. And when it comes to one meal a day, obviously you're trying to fit in all the things, like I said, appetizer, meals, desserts, snacks, into one meal under less than an hour, obviously you cannot consume as many calories as that like normally speaking so what happens calories you used to take are here and the calories you are going to take calories you will consume are here the difference in the calories is what helps you to reduce your weight and that too happens drastically along with a bunch of benefits not just weight loss but insulin sensitivity hormones your your hormones are regulated you are feeling better you are feeling active you are attentive and all the stuff like this is going to happen the first point 
calorie consumption reduces. The second point. So what happens when we are consuming three meals, two snacks? So let's let's start our day. We got up. We after some couple of hours we took a breakfast. What happens after eating breakfast? It takes somewhere around three to three and a half hours to digest. We consume food, the body gets busy digesting the food and after three hours or so it the blood sugar level came to the, its baseline. Insulin worked very hard and took your ba uh, blood sugar level to the baseline. And then what happens? It's lunch time. So we add some more food in and it has to start again. As it's releasing, digesting, taking the food to the required places, taking the sugars to the required places, bringing back the blood sugar level to the baseline and all this. And then what happens? After three, four hours, it's snack time. The process starts again. And after a couple more hours, dinner time, the process starts again. It's starting, it's continuously working like a machine. It's working, working, working. The digestive system is working. Uh, insulin is working. It's working, working, working all the time. Work, 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 work. That's what happened. So it doesn't have time to take care of other things. When you give that time to your body, your hormones are regulated, the thyroid issues, the PCOS issues will be regulated and your body becomes insulin sensitive. What happens? What does that even mean? It means your insulin is working as intended. It's not overloaded. It's, it's not trying too hard, but it, it is working as intended. It can take care of the things it is supposed to take care in the way it is supposed to take care. So you're active, you're more energetic, and you feel lighter with intermittent fasting. So in my experience, it has helped me with the insulin sensitivity. It took my A1C levels from pre-diabetic, to be frank, pre-diabetic, diabetic range, like 8.1 to 5.8, where it is kind of normal-ish levels. So with purely with fasting, I haven't taken any medicines. and. Uh, so within six months, they have changed. It took care of my PCOS. My periods were so irregular and it took care of my PCOS. I'll talk more about it in another video. So second point, you're giving your digestive system, you're giving your body a little break from all the work it is doing. So it is taking care of the things it is supposed to take care. It's caring for you. It's, it's detoxing. It's making you active. It's making you energetic. You are giving it time. Self-love is happening then. Let's talk about elephant in the room, insulin. So why is insulin so important? Whenever we consume food, the blood glucose level increases, insulin comes into play. When the insulin is there in the system, body, your cells, your body is not tapping into its fat resources. So every time we consume food, whatever is, you, whatever is required is used but whatever excess is there, our body stores it as fat in the belly, in this area, and thighs, you know where the fat is, right? We know where the fat is, right? So it, it is keeping reserve for if something happens, but nothing is ever happening. We have food all the time, so nothing is happening. So the body fat is accumulating. So whenever there is food coming in, the sugars are there, the insulin is there, the insulin is busy working, bringing back, the, bringing back those sugars to the basic level and your body is not tapping into those fat resources. So what we have to do? We have to fast. We have to give break to our system. We have to give break to insulin. Once there are no sugars entering our body, the insulin is not produced. So once everything is at baseline, that is when magic happens. If your cells, if your body needs energy, where does it take from? Tries to tap into those fat resources. You have to give it time to tap into those fat resources because we have all that accumulated fat. It's just sitting there, lying, waiting for it to be used. We have to give body a chance for it to use. That's how we are reducing weight. It's your time. What are the three points? Go ahead, say me. First one, the calorie intake reduces. Second one, we are giving a break to our body so that it can take care of other things like detoxing. 
for it to balance those hormones, take care of itself, clean itself, and do other things. Thirvan. Wow, it's weird. So Thirvan, we are giving break to insulin production so that our body can tap into those stored fat resources. This is how the way it reduces. This is good. Magic is going to happen. If you have 100 problems, fostering is going to resolve 95 of them for you. So the saying goes, health is wealth. Happy fasting, happy healing. See you in next video. Bye.